All right, folks, Newport Beach Film Festival is coming up soon. Here to talk about a must-see film about a mysterious older woman who seeks revenge on the corrupt legal guardian who destroyed her life. We welcome the writer, the producer, and director, Carl Hearn. Carl, welcome to the show. Yeah, thanks for having me. I'm so glad you're here with us to talk about this suspenseful film. I watched the trailer. I was on the edge of my seat <laughs> for The G. So your film, is it based on real world events? Yeah, so it's it's really inspired by two things. Uh, it's a character study about this uh, very unusual, very intense older woman played amazingly by Dale Dickey. Um, and that that character is based on my own Irish granny. So uh -huh. really based on, you know, her life and her character. And she was a famously tough cookie. And, you know, uh, so that's one side of the film. Uh, and then you take that character and you put them down in this crazy situation, which unfortunately is based on, you know, real life as well, which is this whole legalized industry that exploits uh, older people, uh, specifically with guardianship scams. Sure. Yeah. So they're very something, prevalent. Yeah. It's, it's, it's actually there. It's some of it almost sounds so far fetched that you wouldn't believe it if you put in a film, but, uh, these, these guardians, um, can come in and with usually with a doctor's and a judge's, uh, uh, permission, take over the life of an older person and they get to decide what drugs are administered. Uh, they control all of the person's assets, and they even get to decide what family members are allowed or not allowed to see them. And sometimes, not always, but sometimes this really turns into an absolute nightmare. And it, you can imagine how easy it is for bad actors to exploit these situations. So uh, the film is based really and inspired really by these two, two things. I, I can't even imagine being in that vulnerable position. Is it is it mostly because they don't have family members that are helping them? Yeah. Um, so most often, and, and I should say, I mean, there's a, a, unfortunately, there's a very wide range of scams targeting the elderly. Uh, certainly when it comes to these guardianship scams, legal, quasi-legal, or just straight illegal, they do tend to target people who uh, are more vulnerable. So people who don't have family or whose family don't live in the same state. Uh, often these people are on medications. They may have memory issues. They may have serious health issues. And the more issues that are these, these elderly people are dealing with, the easier it is for these scammers to take advantage of them. So it's, it's a pretty dark, dark scenario. And in this film, I suppose you could say this film has been called a revenge against old age itself, but oh. um, it's also a straight revenge film. And the cathartic aspect of it is you see this very tough, badass older woman start to take control and her true character comes out uh, as she tries to get revenge on the people who are doing this kind of disgusting scam. I, I mean, I love that you brought to life an elderly anti-hero, you know, in a feminine character. Has that ever been done in a film before? Yeah, as far as we're aware, it never. I mean, it's a pretty groundbreaking role. I mean, I know the the Guardian, you know, called it a, a game changer. Um, you know, Variety and Screen have said similar things just because you have seen older men, Clint right. Eastwood or, you know, people like this in in revenge films or in in thrillers or what have you but not women you know uh and so yeah it really is something different and it's extra compelling because of dale dickey's amazing performance in the lead role and do you think that this is going to um inspire other filmmakers to follow suit and really portray older women in a stronger, more powerful um, character? Uh, that's that's hard to answer. It's an open question. I mean, I, I should I should mention it, the film is violent, uh, you know, but it does deal with a variety of, you know, age related issues. 
There's even uh, a certain amount of uh, sexuality on screen between Is the there? older characters. Okay. So, you know, these are all some of the reasons that the film has been called, you know, uh, groundbreaking by critics, which has been nice. I mean, it's gotten a great, great reviews. Um, is it going to change things or open up more opportunities? That's an open question. I hope so. I, I know Dale, I our, our lead actress, I know she hopes so, you know, so there's there's definitely fewer opportunities for older women in Hollywood. And, uh, this you know, by some, by some measures, an older woman in Hollywood is anyone over the age of 26. You know what I yeah. mean? So we got we, we got to change that theory. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, you know, we'll see. But certainly that's that's something that, you know, I think we're proud of. And with this film and, uh, you know, I do think the film is is, you know, it's it's something different. Absolutely. Definitely sounds like something different. And also the characters in the film depict older people as being irrelevant in society. But again, your st strong-willed character, she's there. Yeah, I mean, I would say that the film definitely fights back against this idea of, you know, I mean, I think there's a tendency in our society just in general for older people to be marginalized. It's not just, you know, the scams and the exploitation that unfortunately can happen, but there's also, you know, in, in the film itself, I mean, her own loving granddaughter is sort of questions, is she still able to drive? Is she still, you know, totally clued in to certain things? Sometimes a patronizing aspect can creep in when younger people talk to an older person. And the film is sort of touching lightly on all of these things. And then gradually this older character shows, I mean, far from only being able to drive, she's she's more competent than anyone else in the film. So in that's that's the sense that it's, you know, a kind of a revenge film against old age itself. It's it's a sort of a comeback to this idea that older people are somehow less competent, that they can be marginalized, that they can be ignored. Uh, this woman is not going to accept any of that. I love it. I love that she's so strong-willed and determined and that she kind of keeps that under wraps, right? She's got this empowerment about her, but only within time does she show that true character of what's going on within. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, I think you see at the beginning, I mean, you do see she's, she's got an edge to her from the yes. beginning, but you're right. I mean, you don't, you don't know exactly what's coming. I mean, and the right. film is sort of a blend between like uh, that crime drama and a full on genre dark thriller. So it gets pretty intense as the film progresses. Well, like I said, I mean, just watching a minute and a half trailer, I was like, oh my God, I'm on the edge of my seat. <laughs> But the film also highlights a, a various a very serious subject matter. Um, it also has an impactful social message. Yeah, I mean, well, especially when it comes to these these scams, this is something. I mean, we've been interviewed uh, all over the place, and this is not a documentary. You know, obviously, this is still a, this is a work of fiction. It's a genre film to a certain extent. But we were interviewed, for example, by the London Times alongside a nonprofit organization called SEER, uh, which is a U.S.-based organization that uh, helps seniors fight back against guardianship scams. Because Wonderful. they're so widespread, there are now organizations that have sprung up just to help people fight back against this. So you see what a problem it's become. So, I love uh, that. That's wonderful news. Yeah, and, and they thanked us, even though this, you know, again, just to be clear, we're not a documentary, we're not documentary filmmakers, but they still thanked us for uh, making a film that is bringing awareness to these issues. Absolutely. Uh, just by getting out there and finding an audience, you know. Absolutely. Wow. Well, I can't wait to see this film, Carl. I'm so looking forward to it. So it's showing Saturday, October 19th at... Um, at 5 p.m. I think it's at um, Edwards 5. Don't quote me on that. It's, it's it's a big, big Newport, they call big it. Big Newport, right? yeah. So yeah. Edwards. Yeah, number five. And um, and I should say also, I'll be there doing a Q&A with Gail Dickey, uh, the lead actress, who's terrific. I mean, she's, she's one of those actresses that you definitely know, even if you can't place her name, because she's been in everything from you know, uh, Marvel films to Winter's Bone, which she won an Independent Spirit Award for Best Supporting Actress. 
so she's a uh, she's sort of a national treasure, and she's really great in this, you know. Wonderful, wonderful. And I'm sorry, did you say that she's going to be there as well? She is. Yeah, she's going to be fabulous. there with me for the for the Q and A after the screening. Oh, fabulous! Oh, well, I wish you the best of luck. And all right, folks, you need to get out there and see this movie, and you need to protect yourselves. <laughs> Carl will hold your hand in doing so. Carl, thank you so much for joining us today. I really appreciate your time, and I can't wait to see the results of this fabulous film. Take all care. Right, thank, you. thank you very much.